All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're going to be talking about a little situation that has honestly just blown up over the past like I don't know, like a couple of months really. So for those of you who are into gaming, which I'm pretty sure that's all of my audience, and also for those who are on TikTok and are into gaming, I guess, <laughs> you might have seen this girl around named Nadia. You know, she's always trying to promote her stream and talking about how she's the best Warzone player, which you know, unless you're like Scump or Swag, you know, that statement coming from you is bound to get the Call of Duty community mad. I don't think in all of esports there's a more competitive community than the COD community. Maybe Valorant here and there, I guess, but Call of Duty's pretty competitive. And that's just coming from somebody who plays fucking multiplayer. So I already knew it was a matter of time, and it's actually kind of funny because, like, I, I knew that this was gonna happen eventually. Pretty much, you guys know that the COD Next event happened in order to promote Modern Warfare 2. And I believe the beta is out right now. I haven't touched it personally, but you know, I really want to. It just sucks that you have to pre-order it to kind of get access to it, I guess. But you know, it is what it is. Anyway. Anyways, Nadia and a bunch of other creators were flown out and invited over to Activision to actually partake in the LAN event where they were able to stream to their audiences and, you know, play the actual game and promote it, get some hype for it and everything like that. You know how it goes. And while she was there, her entire chat was complaining about lagging and they were the saying that Activision themselves did something to the PC that she was playing on. And she even asked them this on stream. She actually called over one of Activision's people that were standing by and asked them like if there was anything that they did with it or whatever, just to prove her chat wrong, I guess. And then I guess the chat was also trying to blame her as well claiming that she was cheating but you know the funny thing is there's a part during that entire stream where she gets pulled off to the side and then somebody else fills her spot in because she got caught for hacking or for having cheats on her account which if you see her gameplay it honestly just makes sense i have two like paddles in the back that i use I have, a, I have a question. Uh, somebody in my chat said sus computer. What are your thoughts? They said like this is suspicious. This one? Yeah. Did you guys like do something to that computer? They want to know. We did. You guys did? We I don't know. They just said it's suspicious. You know what I'm saying? You'd like pick up what I'm putting down? Yeah. Yeah. Good. So like what are your thoughts on that though? Like. I mean it looks sus. It does look sus. Yeah. Um, you can like come back to stream for like two yeah, seconds. Oh right now? Okay. Yeah that's fine. I got permission. She just got yelled at for Activision because um, we just found some hacks on her account. Sorry to break it to you guys, but yeah, it's actually true. We got number one male cheater, number one female cheater, and then one legit player. How did you die? Yes, you did. Yeah, I won three games. What's up? And I dropped the 60 bomb. And like I said before, like anybody who's watched her has suspected her of cheating for months now because you always see the TikTok clips and people have even accused her of using a Cronus Zen, which if you don't know what that is, that's basically a controller converter. Apparently it's a piece of hardware that you can use to increase your aim assist and I guess you can have rapid fire mods on it. And you know, obviously like we've seen the clips in Warzone and Call of Duty, like we always see streamers getting caught cheating. They usually have like an overlay of aimbot or wall hacks, which Nadia has pretty much shown on her own. There's clips of her tracing people through walls and stuff like that and shooting before she's supposed to. But before I go, I just want to show you guys one thing. I don't know how you can claim to be the best sniper in the world or the best Warzone player in the world and claim that you're going to join FaZe when you miss your fucking throwing knife to finish off somebody. I've seen a lot of hateful comments about me when I said I was going to be the next member of FaZe. I don't think FaZe is going to turn me down when they see me hit snipes like this. Bro, the, the dude is right in front of you. How do you miss? But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me today. I know today's video was a little bit shorter, but the next one will be longer. Trust me. If you did enjoy this video, hit that like button. If you want more content similar to this, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Sub up, stay safe, and peace.